we're now going to rationalize radicals with two terms in the denominator. And so we're going to look at the square root of 2 over the square root of 6 plus 2. And so what we need to remember here is that we have a radical in the denominator and it's getting in the way of doing good long division. So we need to get rid of it. Unfortunately, because of this plus 2 that's floating around, and anytime you have two unlike radicals on the bottom, it gets in the way, we can't just multiply by the square root of 6 because then we'd just be moving it back and forth. So what we need is we need something that when we multiply it, we'll completely get rid of the radicals. And this is where the conjugate comes in. So remember, the conjugate is the difference of squares thing. a plus b times a minus b, where either a or b is a radical, is a conjugate. These are conjugates of each other. So here's one of our factors. We need to come up with its conjugates. We have the plus. So what we do is we're going to multiply by the square root of 6 and the 2, and we change the sign. And we do the same thing on the top and the bottom, so we're really just multiplying by 1. And when we do that, now, we just multiply across on top, so we get square root of 2 times square root of 6, which is square root of 12, minus 2 root 2. And on bottom, we get the difference of squares, so we're going to get the square root of 6 squared minus 2 squared. Well, we got a little bit of work ahead of us, but it's not too bad. We can simplify square root of 12, so that's 4 and 3, so a 2 comes out, leaves a 3 inside. And those are unlike radicals. So they're not going to combine any further. 2 root 3 and the 2 root 2. Square root of 6 squared is 6. 2 squared is 4. So this gives us 2 squared of 3 minus 2 squared of 2 all over 2. And since the 2 goes into both evenly, we divide it all out. We're left with the square root of 3 minus the square root of 2. And here is our rationalized answer. Now I want to look at another one. Suppose that we have the square root of 6 minus 3 over the square root of 10 minus the square root of 6. And this is what I call the math teacher's favorite radical problem. So we're going to add parentheses here, and I'll show you why. Because in order to rationalize this, we need to multiply by the conjugate. So the conjugate is the same numbers, opposite sign. Same numbers, opposite sign. And so on top, we can just multiply this through. Square root of 6 times square root of 10 is square root of 60. Square root of 6 times square root of 6. There is a shortcut here because I'm multiplying the same thing by itself under a square root. I could just get what's the radicands, but I'm going to show this all the way out. Square root of 36 minus 3 root 10 minus 3 root 6. All over square root of 10 squared minus the square root of 6 squared. Well, let's simplify what we can. 60 is 4 and 15, so we get a 2 root 15 out. Notice there's a 2 here and a 2 here, but it leaves the, two, the 3 and the 5 in place. Plus 6 minus 3 root 10 minus 3 root 6 all over. Square root of 10 squared, 10. Square root of 6 squared is 6. 10 minus 6 is 4. So our answer appears to be... 2 square roots of 15 plus 6 minus 3 square roots of 10 minus 3 square roots of 6, all over 4. Now, you might want to try and simplify the 4 with the 2 or with the 6, but it doesn't work because it doesn't also go into the 3. So our final answer really is this. This is where we stop. Because the 4 has to reduce everything or it doesn't reduce anything.